Hey, help me dogs, it's Simon here. Welcome to Hermit's Cave. Just going to pop open the chat and shut down YouTube. That used to be quite a scary thing, really, shutting down YouTube when, uh, <laughs> when you think you need YouTube to be able to broadcast, but you don't. So, yeah, I put in Hermit's Cave about um, an hour ago. Putting on the glitz. Hey, Simon. Hello, putting on the glitz. Such a cool channel, channel name. Um, yeah, I put in Hermit's Cave about an hour ago. Wow. And then... Then I look up and there's 10. Uh, sick tat, bro. Oh, you like it? It always looks off center. Whenever you show anything, I mean, they're all perfectly aligned, of course, but whenever you show anything. Um, but yeah, that's my Deviant Moon latest tattoo. Uh, hi, Raven Song. Hello, Moon Tiger's Path. Hello, Patsy, Diane, Read the Cards, Doug, Linda, FB a Mink, a Nink, FB a Nink. I've not seen you before, but hello. We've got Jabberwocky, Agnes says, Hexen. Hello, Hexen. Hexen's being interviewed next Saturday on the channel, guys. Um, Connor, hello, Connor, Linda, um, Giselle. Giselle, tell me the name of um, Keith's channel so we can shout it out. I know it's all one word. Is it the search for music? Something like that. But guys, Giselle, our very own Madwitch, her husband, Keith, has started a channel um, and he's amazing at playing those. Um, oh, and it's gone right out of my head. The drums. Let me, in fact, let me have a look at um, my playlist because i've watched it this morning and he's so talented if you saw my hermit on tour glastonbury part part three there was a little snippet in there of keith um let me see if you put it hi cat hello laurie and hidden behind the moon paper pop it the search for sound that's it the search for sound all one word that's giselle's husband keith and uh yeah he's great so let me go back and 10 hours ago trying to find it now in my playlist when did he up oh here we go the search for sound <clears throat> Rav Vast Drum, that's it. The hand pans, that's what I was thinking of. Oh. And he plays singing bowls, hand pans, Rav Drums. So awesome. So uh, do check him out. And he's going to, his time is going to be putting up some videos, playing them, which I can't wait for because they're wonderful to like meditate to as well. They make such a beautiful sound. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So do check out the Search for Sound channel. Um, Love your interviews. Thank you, Linda. So yeah, next week, Hexen is being interviewed on the channel, Saturday at 4 p.m. So that'll be fun. Um, he has just done another video today. Wow, he's on a roll. <laughs> Hi, Sulky. Good to see you as well. Okay, so uh, I've just said goodbye to Sandra. Well, actually, just said to Sandra, it's not goodbye, you know, it's ta and, and see you soon. But um, had a really, uh, let me see your t-shirt. It's the death t-shirt that I bought in the summer uh, when I was with Carly Bear. She bought a dress. There's a smaller version of it on each, on each arm. Uh, from a shop in Nottingham called The Void. Uh, no, it's not called The Void, it's called Void. Um, and it's, it's amazing. It's right opposite Ice Nine, which I've shown many times uh, on my channel. And we went to Ice Nine yesterday. So yeah, Sandra from Sandra and Taro arrived on Friday and has just left. So I've just dropped her off at the train station, um, saw her to the turnstiles, and um, she'll now be en route back to London where she's going to pick up her connecting train. 
Um, so yeah, it was high tar apple. It was good, and uh, we had a, a fab time. And today it is tipping it down. It's grey. It's dark. Got all the lights on at three o'clock in the afternoon. It's absolutely tipping it down. And it forecast rain yesterday. And was like, oh well, well, we won't let it stop fun or anything. But you know what? We had blue skies and we had sunshine. Um, so it, it was great. Did you both have a good time? Yes, Sulky. Yeah. So Friday night I cooked. I did a Diet Coke chicken, one of my specialities. And I, I spoke about that when I was interviewed by Arwen Lynch nearly two years ago. Um, so Sandra got to sample my Diet Coke chicken. Um, and then we watched, uh, we liked the scary movies. So we watched Hush which was on Netflix. And then we was up early. I get up early to go to my slimming group anyway on a Saturday. So um, we was in town for eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, we had a coffee at my favorite coffee shop. Then we went to, we had a walk around the lace market in Hockley, the Bohemian Quarter. We went to Lizian and well, Sandra will show you on her channel what she bought, uh, but she bought a beautiful um, rose quartz obelisk which was which is gorgeous um we went to ice nine we had dinner out at lunch out i should say we had our tattoos sandra had a tattoo very different to what she was planning um and we went to the galleries of justice which is now, now called the national crime and punishment museum and we got to go into the old Victorian courtroom and watch a reenactment of a trial. And Sandra and I, just because where we sat, we sat in the jury box. We were part of the jurors that had to find the person guilty or not. It was a little bit oppressive because when you go down into the cells, it only stopped being a courtroom in 1986. Um, the gallows are out in the yard. There's a place where there's two foot and you just stand there and you think, oh, the people, it's like a glass ceiling with two feet on it. If, you, if you're on my Hermit's K Facebook group, you'll have seen the photos. Um, so it was interesting, but it was quite heavy as well. Um, and then we came back for the car and we drove up to Sherwood and I took her to the Mystic Moon, uh, the witchy shop up there. Um, came back, had a cup and a feet up for an hour went out for dinner last night, and then we came back and watched a DVD. We watched The Strangers. So yeah, and then we had just a lazy morning, went out for some lunch at lunchtime today, and then I took it to the train. So that was, uh, that was a great weekend. Hello Kay, hello Simon everyone. I'm going to be busy, but I'm still listening to everyone. I'm packing for my trip to uh, Alberta tomorrow. Wow, we'll have a good trip. Um, and hi, I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. Yeah, Navneet, hello, I'm doing great. I hope you're doing okay too. So nice to see you. So anyway, uh, of course, Sandra and I swapped a few gifts. I'll let her show you what um, uh, I got for her and what I gave her. But she gave me some debt. She bought, um, she brought a batch job lot of tarot decks and there was some she didn't want and she gave me first refusal. Dan, hello, Dan's here. Great to see you, I've just glided you, Dan. I don't know if you've picked it up yet, but I've just replied to your glide. So hello um, and good to see you. So firstly, I've got to show you this. She gifted me this beautiful red jasper sphere. And it's really, really lovely. Let me see if I can move that light because it casts a, sh a shadow from the laptop. So if I turn it sideways, that's better. Um, you can see just how, how lovely um, that is. So she gifted me that. And then I, she gifted me a uh, Fournier, uh, Tara de Marseille. And I've got a very old 1982 one, which is very... Uh, battered but I love I love the colors um, this so vibrant if you haven't seen the Fournier uh, before the really lovely lovely colors and look at the moon great car stop pinks for the cups I liked your tattoo thank you um, Navneet Star. yeah it's just I just love it I love the Fournier so she gifted me that. And if you just come in, that's my Deviant Moon tattoo that I had done yesterday. And do you know what? 
is healed already. Um, to say I have sensitive skin, well, that's something else Sandra bought me. She bought me some um, aftercare, men's aftercare um, cream um, to put on because she knows I get sensitive skin. Really thoughtful. Oh, and I've been after this for so long. Forest Folklore Tarot. It is out of print. I will show you a couple of cards, but I don't always like to show out of print decks because people are like, oh, why are you doing this? But what I love about this um, this deck is the the colouring of it. It's so soft. It's like uh, pencil um, coloured pencils. Really, really beautiful. I have thought about trimming it, but with it being an out of print deck, I don't know whether to or not. No, it didn't smell, Navni. Oh, it's I have got, and I'll, I will explain this story because it does need some explanation. Um, look, so nice. Um, I've got a lot of scar tissue on my arms because I had an accident in 1994 where I went through a glass door. Um, so there's lacerations all up my arms, a little bit of skin graft here. Um, but there's a very deep, you can't see it because it's too bright. Let me turn this off a second. I've been plunged into darkness, that's better, is it? There's a very deep scar. I don't know if it'll pick up very deep scar that goes through here. And it always looks like I've, you know, made an attempt in my life. Um, so it kind of covers it up, but the scar goes through it. So when he was tattooing this bit here, as he come into the scar, it's the first time in all my tattoos, because I've said that I quite like the feeling of being tattooed, where I kind of winced a bit. And he said afterwards, how did it feel going over the old scar tissue? Um, he asked how long, before they would do the tattoo, they asked how long it has been since I've had the scars. And so it's 25 years, which is absolutely fine. Um, so that was the only kind of soreness and there was a little bit of bleed. And then he put the covering on. We went off to do what we went off to do, lunch. And you look at it a few times, don't you? Because it's something new. And then when we did, went to the Crime and Punishment Museum, I completely forgot I'd had it done for at least two hours. And it was as I was walking back out, we went past the tattoo shop and I saw the tattoo shop. I was like, oh yeah, I've had a tattoo. And it doesn't hurt. It's no swelling, no redness anymore. It is absolutely, um, absolutely fine. So Simon, what's the difference between Pips, Marseille and Lencond? I don't know what Lencond is. Pips are um, non, um, non, non illustrate. Well, everything's illustrated, non scenic. So, if a deck like Rider Waite Smith has scenes, then it's not a pip deck. Although people still refer to the one to ten as pips, really. Um, but pips are where you get uh, five cups for the five of cups, seven swords for the seven of swords. They're pips. Marseille is a style. So taken from the French style um, of, you know, the, the swords are always curved, the ones are straight, the, the formation, the pattern is, is very uniform. So that's what makes it a Marseille style deck. Um, but you do have lots of historical decks that are, you know, um, beautiful Italian productions and things, reproductions, I should say, um, that are classed as pips, but not Marseille. I hope that helps. Tanji's here, is she? I see people saying, oh, hi, Tanji, good to see you. And then the Victorian steampunk tarot, because I had the Barbara Moore steampunk tarot and I didn't get on with it and I gifted it. But I've always wanted this one. Um, and Sandra didn't want it. But look, it's in, she's put it in this beautiful bag, gorgeous bag. Um, so, yeah, and a look at the backs. They do have moths in them. But I've said I'm going to see them as butterflies. But it's a really, really nice deck, nice size. Um, yeah, here's some of these are pips, you see, so okay, these are pips. So they're not Marseille, but the number changes on the illustration of the cards. So four beetles, five beetles, six. That's that's a pip. 
So uh, maybe they were me on secret account. So I don't know what you guys are going on about. Oh, and also, it reminds me of Albin in the room. I've been invited tonight, like you won't have enough of me by today. I've been invited tonight to join Becca, Tarot Night Owl, on her Sunday night chat, her slag fest, as it's now affectionately known. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I've had these guys, this is why it's an, entitled a mammoth um, unboxing, because it's just, they have all arrived over different days. This is the first opportunity I've had to put some light back on the situation. Is that too bright? Is that okay? Um, yeah, first opportunity I've had to do it. And I've had some readings booked as well. And I've had to go back to them because it does say on my website it could take up to a week uh, to get get a reading to say that they'll be Monday and people have been absolutely fine about that. So bag is with the box, Simon. Bag is with the box. No, the bag's separate. She put um, she she got this bag and put it in with it. It's lined. It's lovely. It's a really beautiful uh, bag. Okay, so make sure I'm not customs documents. Make sure I'm not. Um... Oh, Thais is answering. Sorry, um, Sulky. He was on about Lenormand. Yeah, Lenormand is French. It's based on the old kind of gypsy fortune telling cards. Um, it's its own system. It's its own system. Um, Oh no, can't believe I missed them. I would have enjoyed all that hammering. Oh, we had trolls in. Hi, Face. Hi, Kimberly. And Jennifer. And anybody else that's come in that I've missed. Good to see everybody. We've got 80 in. Wow. Okay, so yeah, this is from lovely Patty, uh, who's in my uh, Hermit's K Facebook group, as well as on YouTube, of course. And. Um, I saw something she'd got and I said, you know, would you mind getting me one? And I would sort it sort it out. Very naughty. She did get me one, but she wouldn't take anything, which, you know, I'm going to stop saying to people now, would you get me something and I'll sort you? Because, uh, yeah, no, oh. and there's some, that smells nice. Strawberry, melon, and freesia melon. Wow. Oh, oh wow, look at this. This is what I'm expecting, but look at this, guys. How gorgeous is that cloth? I've just, as well, put my tarot bag together. I've just done it with Sandra for my readings that I'm going to be doing. Um, and I've got my big cloth that was done by the lovely wild feather, Heidi, that Diandra got me for my birthday last year. Um, but this cloth is a perfect size for reading. And it's weaved. Isn't it gorgeous? Love it. Wow. That's so, so generous. And it looks like there's something else in here as well. Not sure what that is. Something very tiny. Oh, but first look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a Buddhist wheel or bell. Oh, and there's all sorts in ah. Oh. So sweet. And look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, thank you, Pit Still. Beautiful. So there's crystal she's popped in. Is this adventuring? Ah, gorgeous. So kind. Let's see what little note here. Hello, Simon. I forgot. <laughs> This is just a little thank you. Oh, it's Chrysocola. Um, is the with oh, it's Chrysocola. 
Wow, I love Chrysocola. I've got my um, Malachite and Chrysocola piece here. And Obsidian, much love, Patty. So lovely. And we was getting quite worried because it was posted a couple of weeks back, but it was taking, um, oh, look at this. Piece of, I just turned that over and got a lovely palm stone of sodalite. But it's got a peace symbol on the other side. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm not sure what uh, that is. It might just be some, yeah, I think it was just to protect. So this is, this is the main thing that uh, I have to say. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Look at that. It's wood. Made in the USA. Oh, it's got Pammy's signature on it. That can go on my wall there. So above my, my printer. It'll look perfect there, won't it? Oh, thank you. Oh, I could put it there. Oh, I'll, I'll titubate it later. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, Patty showed them in the group saying her local store had got a few left. And I was like, oh, please get me one and I'll sort you out. But she wouldn't let me um, sort her out. What do people saying? Oh, my God, Simon, you're nearly at 6,000 subs. I know. I was talking to Sandra this morning because she noticed. Um, and it doesn't seem five minutes since... Um, 5,000 subs. So we had to look back and it was just, it was Christmas. So literally two, just over two months, which which is amazing. Really, really amazing. Perfect spot. I can certainly see that on your door too. <laughs> yeah. Up here, okay, I would get pinched if I got on my door. Oh, do you mean the door there? Oh, I think it meant my outside door. Could go there, could just on the door. Trouble is, not, more times than not, that door is wedged open with my moon gazing hair as the door stop. So that means it would be against a wall. But I love it. I adore it. And with it being on wood, I didn't know how vibrant the colour would be, but it's it's really lovely. Look at the yellow. So, so yeah, it's gorgeous. There's still two more parcels. And I love this. Um, so, this one is from a lovely friend, um, and that's Lisa. Uh, you probably know her as Tea Leaves and Tarot. Um, I don't know if she's in. Um, I haven't seen everybody that's in. Nathani says, I like your T-shirt, death card. Is it, yes, it is. It is the death card. I don't think it's taken from any particular deck. I think it's just a design. Uh, but it's great. Um, but yeah, Lisa is um, somebody I, I call a friend. We talk more or less daily. Um, she is one of my admin. Uh, and I don't know what I'd have done without her in the past, particularly last year. She really, she really stepped up and helped me out. Um, and she's just, absolutely lovely and she's been saying for quite some time oh, I'll put a little box together for you and then she said to me the other day I finally sent it um it's like you don't need to as I always say um and it came in record time just like the the next one that I'm going to show you so she put a little card in but I think that might be uh personal so um but she says I've been collecting some small presents for you for a while now I hope you enjoy the variety uh, and yeah i'll read the rest um, later so first thing i can see canada <laughs> yeah so lisa's from canada and there's a canadian duck i love its facial expression <laughs> that's awesome that's good on my desk canada there's loads of little bits um 
I hope you don't mind me doing these um, little unboxings. Love the duck, says Marsha. Hello, Marsha. Oh, and everything's wrapped so neatly and lovely. Some, oh, that's what I can smell. Can you duck? <laughs> can you duck? So we've got Ganesha incense and sandalwood and amber and they all smell lovely and isn't it amazing you know when you open a box or a gift and it's got incense in it how that oh it takes it takes on um the box takes on the scent from it and everything smells gorgeous oh wow look at that how gorgeous is that i don't think i meant to open it or whether it's like full of um or things. I love seeing what you get. Dustin's here, is he? Hi, Dustin. I will be done, Dustin, for your live. That's why I, I kind of rushed back from the station um, and I thought I've got to be done. So cause Dustin goes live at five, is it, Dustin? I think five my time, so 10 yours. Uh, platonic solids, origin Brazil. The five platonic solids are ideal primal uh, models of crystal patterns that occur throughout the world of minerals in countless variations. There are only five regular polyhedra, that is the only five solids made from the same equilateral equiangular polygons. Because it just rolls off the tongue. To the Greeks, these solids symbolized earth, hexadron, fire, tetrahedron, air, octahedron, water, I icosahedron, and spirit, ether, which is dodecatheron. Do dodecatheron. <laughs> the platonic solids are sometimes also called the cosmic figures. Oh wow, and there this this pouch is amazing. It's cushioned. Um and each the cushion is it I wish I could show you properly. The cushion is in the middle. See that cushion? And around the edges are little pockets with the five um crystals in, five stones. Oh, and they're gorgeous. And Lisa is an expert when it comes to crystals. She really knows her stuff. She's assisting, um, beautiful. She's assisting Chase, two of ours, with his deck. So he's doing an oracle deck. He's got an artist, and Lisa is the person who's putting the crystal associations with them. So um, these are stunning. What a fab little set. Do de Cathedron. Thank you, Tanji. Amazing, amazing. A lot, all poured in this little, little pouch. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. So many lovely things. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous. It's a chakra tree hanging my window. Isn't it beautiful? What's this haul from? So the first lot I showed was from Sandra's gift. We exchanged gifts when Sandra came for a visit. This is from Lisa. And Dustin, you'll know Lisa. She's one of the ad admins like yourself in the group. Um, on YouTube as Tea Leaves and Tarot. Um, and she's a she's a crystal hound. She's got thousands, thousands of crystals, literally. Um, green onyx. Oh, and there's this looks like a rose quartz heart. Now she makes these and sells these, I believe, in her Etsy shop um, with these little magnets on the back. Isn't that a cool idea? 
Um, so yeah, I will put Lisa's details below as well. Um, okay. So sweet. All oh, presents. I've got another box yet as well. Which I think you know about, Justin. I think we spoke about it last Sunday when uh, the offer was made. Um, I am very lucky, great Joe. Definitely very lucky. I'm very blessed. <laughs> oh, how gorgeous! Look at that. That's a glam, a glam duck. Oh, and it's, I think it's like um, like a tree decoration because it's ceramic glass. It says on it, glass, which is beautiful. Yeah, Christmas Noel. Oh, that can go on my tree at Christmas. I love it, Lisa. And lastly, let's see what's in here. Oh, wow, look. Gorgeous elephant in purple. Favourite colour. And then there's a little, little crystal here. Wow, I'm not sure what that is though. Anybody, can anybody identify it? Really? Really nice. Holding it up to the light, it's it's almost you can see through it. It's got lots of I don't think there's a little piece of paper saying so it's slipped out. But Lisa, thank you. I absolutely adore all of these wonderful, wonderful gifts that you've you've sent me. So thank you. I'm gonna keep them, keep them out. So let's see, before I do the last parcel, let's see if there's any uh, comments, Christmas tree decorations. When he said mega unboxing, he means business. Look at all them goodies. Right, Al? Um, looks like Hiddenite from here. I'll have to ask Lisa, she'll, she'll tell me. Is there a rainbow colour in the crystal? There's like a... Um, there is a line of colour that's different to the green. It's very uh, like a milky green. And there's the light. If you can see that. It's lovely. It feels lovely. So I'm not sure. Oh, but so, so nice. Okay. Now then, this box is from um, somebody I've been chatting to uh, for a while now over emails. Um, I, I don't know if he'd want me to uh, name his full name. So we'll say Gary um, because his name is Gary. <laughs> We'll say Gary, his name's Gary. Um, and he's really into his kind of historical, um, you know, medieval decks, ancient Italian decks. He's got a real, real lovely collection. And we started talking more after, you know, about three weeks or so ago, maybe four now, when I went to Derbyshire, I took you all with me and I showed you the Hermit's Cave. Um, and he was saying about how he's originally from this area. He lives abroad now. And, uh, you know, he was, was talking about places and um, he's actually not far where he used to live from where, from where I work. And we got talking. And he did say to me, if you do an unboxing, you're probably going to want to do a speed up because I have covered it 
covered it in, in tape and it's not hidden. It's taken me some uh, some getting into. Um, but we were talking last weekend and I've made the decision that I'm only going to buy like two... Hi, Lucy. That I'm going to buy um, two main decks a month. That's my budget now. Um, one, because that's really all I can aff afford. And it's, you know, I need to work with those two decks on a month. And I've said it before in the past, but I'm, I'm going to do it in earnest. So I decided that I was going to get the Deck of the Bastard. And uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Sorry. I was going to get the uh, Budapest Tarot. And I was going to get the Deviant Moon um, Mildred's Blood Edition. And then I was kind of umming and ahhing because I, um, even though the 666 copies, it's not out yet, it's not out till April. Um, so Gary messaged me saying, have you thought about getting the Millennium edition of the Marseille? And I was like, yeah, I've looked at it a few times. And he was like, well, here's the link. I said, no, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. And the reason I'm not going to get it is because I've made a commitment. I'm going to get um, the Budapest. And he sent me a pitch saying, what, this Budapest? So I was like, yeah, that, that Budapest. And he's like, you can have it. He said, I'll be glad, be glad to let it go. I, I really don't want it. And I'm like, what? And it looks like there's more. Than that in here <laughs> a lot more than that in here um and it was still wrapped not opened he said it's too small for me wasn't what i was expecting and i really would um like to let it go and i'd like you to have it um and we've agreed that we'll do a trade he's gonna have a think about something and, and let me know but gary there is more than that in here so, um, yeah, firstly, so we'll look at these because I can see what these are. So he also said, oh, I'm throwing in as well the Rosenwald, which again is another deck that has been on my wish list forever and still unopened. So this is the Budapest Tarot and he's also uh, put in the, the Rosenwald which oh, I'm just kind of blown away by because I was like, oh my God. And Christy Moore had shared in um, The Hermit's Cave, The Deck of the Bastard, that's what I was getting to. And she, I was like, Christy, don't, because she's like, I'm really surprised you don't have it. It's amazing. It's got the Soprafino, it's got um, the Atea, and it's um, all the pips are RWS and it's the most vintage looking deck and the combination of the three in one deck is just amazing so when Gary said I'm sending you these I don't want them I'll be glad to let them go and he's never even opened them I was like right deck of the bastard I'm coming for you um but yeah um the sulk is spot on there are some lovely people in this world I don't even know what's in this. I mean, it's gorgeous. And I know where the site that has got these from. Oh, wow. It's the Majors of the Dodal. Oh, my goodness. Just look at this. The cardstock is amazing. And we talked about this deck and how I might get it. Just gorgeous. Look at the colours. And it even put the leather case that you can buy for them separately in there as well. I feel quite I feel quite emotional actually. Just people, people's generosity is just it's just mind blowing. Look at the hermit. 
it's lovely. It's a gorgeous size. You know, I'd say it's a traditional tarot size. But look how rich the blue and the colours are. It's amazing. Hi, Sparkle Divine. <laughs> I was looking for tarot, should be daddy. Gary's very happily sorted and spoken for. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that out there. Oh, look at the moon. How amazing. Oh, gorgeous. Well, that's lovely of you to say, Nat, um, TJ. And, you know, I do this. I do this because I love it. I enjoy it. Um, I don't ever expect anything in return other than communication um, what I love about having a channel and what I love about the Facebook group um, and the lovely Marsha and check her channel out too Mus Musings with Marsha um, she said to me this morning that along those lines what Nat's saying that by creating a space she's found friends and that's so rewarding because that's what I hoped with my channel that's what I hoped when I set the Facebook group up that we, we make connections with like-minded people and we make friends. And you know I've made friends. I've made so many friends. Uh, I just had a weekend with a friend that I met through this this medium. Kelly Bear, Becca, there's just too many to mention everybody, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's I just don't, it's just always really, really touching. Oh, my life, look at this. Gary, Tarot de Marseille. Oh, look at this. So incredible. Oh, look at the backs. These are huge as well. <laughs> These are, and the card stock is like no other. Wow. It's really thick, beautiful, beautiful cardstock. He has spoiled me. I want to show you them all, but um, they are incredible. I've never seen these before. Has anybody else? I mean, they're gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Papa Squirrel is here. Hi, Brian. Happy Sunday, Simon. Happy Sunday to you, Papa Squirrel. Not long now till you come to the UK. <laughs> Elle wants to name my new uh, school uh, tattoo. I said to her, I trust you, you give it a name and that's what it'll be known as. But I don't think she can handle that responsibility. <laughs> These are just, oh, they feel incredible. So they are the Mar Marilli Ficini Florentini. I think that's what it says on the back. But on the box, and that's such a heavy, heavy lid. It's like almost like wood. Tarot de Marseille, La 22. Uh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's still two other things. And he said to me, I'm sending you the unopened Budapest and I'm throwing in the Rosenwald. And I was like, no, you don't need to do that. And then he's put these in as well. Uh, so, ah, oh, the reveal! 
of my life. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. Tara D. Jacques de Vivier. Oh. Still in its cellophane. Oh my goodness. Oh, these feel amazing. And I've got so much um, love now from, for Mercedes, you know. I'm really. Oh, they're in two parts. That's interesting. They're like, there's like two. I'm not sure why. Gary, you need to tell me. There's like two parts. Um, oh, they're in opposite directions. Duh. I mean, I just realized how awesome is that? That is so cool. I never even realized. Amazing. <laughs> That's incredible. Wow. Oh, awesome. Can't beat a good quality box. I love the shirt. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my life. I'll turn them in on themselves. There's some cards here as well that give the explanations. Look at the backs. Do you just love the backs of Marseille decks? The fine patterns. I love them. Well, and then I will show you the uh, Budapest because I love it. And then the last deck. It's an Il Manigello deck. Can't see the sticker. Wow, so it's the Tarocco Marsiglia. Um, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it, going to pronounce this right, but it's 1804. And it's Svivet, 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 Do you know, if this was a pre-recorded, I'd be doing a Brian and I'd put the uh, outtakes at the end. Swizero, is that how you say it? Can I get that without light on it so you can see it? Swizero, Tarocco, Marsilia. Swizero, 1804. <laughs> Nikki, yes, you did. Oh, these are gorgeous. And I love Il Manigello. I love their decks. And this is number 1262 of 2000. Oh, my life. They're gorgeous. Open her up, says Molly. <laughs> oh. So these, um, they have like a, a shine to them, which is quite unusual for Il Manigello. I've got one of his decks, um, which is the Millennium one. Oh, look at that moon card. 1804. That might be too light. Let me turn the lamp off. That's better, isn't it? You can see it a lot better. I can just smell the, yes, the Omanigello. Yes, they've got such a distinctive smell, haven't they? Here's our full. Hi, June. Good to see you. 
Oh, 114 people here. That's amazing. Welcome, guys. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Show the deck card. The tower. Oh, amazing. Let's show some pips. I don't have a Marseille deck yet. Any suggestions? Um, if you're just starting off with a Marseille, I would probably, um, as a beginner, I'd probably just say keep it quite quite basic. Um, there's there's lots out there. Probably something like, I mean, I would say New Choice Tarot de Marseille is a is a good one. It's independent though. But if you want to just get one off, that's that's a beautiful deck. Um, but you might just want to get one off um, Amazon or something like that and just put uh, Tarot de Marseille. Um, there's a court card. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Swords. And then we have our cups. Wow. So this one, it just says uh, Tarocco di Marsilia, but on the box, um, on the here, it just says that Swizera, Swizera. How would you pronounce it? Somebody want to pronounce it out for me? <laughs> there isn't Brian. Nothing better than smelling the deck. And El Miguelo in particular smells gorgeous. Okay, so shall we have a look at the Budapest? Oh, I almost don't want to open it up. They're wrapped like um, Patrick Valenza wraps his decks. So beautiful in this wrapped paper. The purple box is the marshmallow, pink for marshmallow tarot. It's in a pink box. That's nice. Yeah, the marshmallow tarot is quite nice. Um, Look at these. It's dated on the inside. Gorgeous. They're very small. Again, this is why Gary didn't want to open them or keep them. Um, I love the backs. The backs are gorgeous. Such a thick deck as well. Just look at the thickness oh, and yeah they're, they're all um kind of like sepia with black um black drawings with splashes of red and yellow and i think there's two or maybe three cards that have a little bit of blue in them but they are so lovely i think these are from the 1500s Let's get smell of vision up and running for everybody. Oh, and they're so thick. As they would be, because the deck is the deck is thick. <laughs> Xmas all year round. It feels like it. You know, it was like every day there was a knock at the door. Um Gary's deck came Friday. Lisa's came Saturday, and so did um, Patty's, yeah. Oh, look at the colours. Those are lovers. So these are gonna have to sit with a little crystal on them because once you've opened uh, the paper. Oh. 
Simon, you showed a purple box. It's mysterious. Can you tell them which one it is, please? A purple box. Do you mean when I showed this one? This is a grey box. That one? That's the New Choice Tarot de Marseille um, from Rosario Salerno. Our devil. Tower. So yeah, then we get a couple of, as we go on, a couple of uh, cards with this beautiful blue in them. These are so lovely. Wish you could feel what I feel. The world card. Oh, look at our coins. Hi, Jen. Yay, keep on showing these Marseilles. I can admire without FOMO all day. <laughs> Don't you like Marseille? Oh, I'm just, I was the same probably a year ago, I want to say. But now I'm obsessed with them. One of Gary's decks in a purplish box. Michelle is dying to know which one it was. Oh, one of these decks that's been sent. Let's have a look then. Let me just show you a few, uh, a few more pips. So here's our swords. So in Marseille style decks, the swords are curved. This wouldn't be a traditional Marseille deck, of course, but predates Marseille. Cups, but they are beautiful. Oh, look at wands, the ace of wands. Just beautiful. <sighs> and then you get the, the cards um, numbered. This is an unusual little sign. You don't see that in Roman numerals. Um, but it appears for five, so like you've got um, El Papa, the Pope, the Hierophant, that's a symbol for five, which is unusual. Um, the symbol for ten is unusual as well, because it's a cross, an X, but with a, a line at the top. Um, yeah, and look at El Monde, look at the symbol for that. And then something are telling you about the, the Budapest Tarot and then the signed numbered edition card, which is gorgeous. Um, Sullivan, yes, yeah, Sullivan is the, uh, the creator and it's Tarot Sheet Revival is where you can buy this and the Rosenwald Tarot as well. Um, and yeah, thank goodness for him. And I first saw this on Patrick, who I interviewed the other week, Patrick J. Fogarty, when he was in the 78 cards. He got this tarot deck. And I was like, oh, I want it. And it went onto my wish list. Purple box. Okay, well, the only, there's no, oh, unless you mean this one, where they're in reverse, there's that one, which is red box, uh, which is the Viveal. Is the blue box that I showed with the beautiful backings on them with the constellations. Um, and that's Tarot de Marseille. And then there was the Il Menegello box that I've just shown. Um, so I'm not sure where the purple box thing is from. That one. <laughs> one of those three though. <laughs> um, they are pretty, like looking at museum paintings, but I don't want to take them home. Oh, I do, I want to take them home and I want to sleep with them. As in, put them under my pillow and imbue them with my energy. Should we have a quick look at the Rosenwald? Rosenwald is without colour. It's uh, black sketching on um, sepia. Thank you, Simon, it was blue. Uh, okay, the one with the constellation in the background. And these are lovely, they're not stuck down or anything, they're just folded. 
So it doesn't tear or anything, which is great because I can keep these and put them in my carry book. Um, which is, yeah, which is lovely. Because then you end up with these really pretty designs. Look at that sun and the moon. Let's see what these, this one looks like. I mean, that one's nice. But that one is gorgeous. You should see <laughs> the chaos around me. These are a little bit even smaller. Oh, look at that. Look at that design there. So these can all go in my tarot journal. Book right. Simon wants to sleep with his decks. The Hermit's Cave. You what? You slag. <laughs> You wait for tonight. There's going to be all this, isn't there, over at Be Becca's channel when I join her tonight. All the, now these. Oh, keep that for me, journal. So the rose at uh, the Budapest is this size, and the Rosenwald has the, these aged backs. It's that size, so it's even, even smaller. And comparing that with a normal, normal, what's normal? But with a regular tarot size, you can see the size difference there. Love them. So the card telling you about the Rosenwald. Eight two cards. This is the limited edition numbered card. So gorgeous. <laughs> We're starting with pips, which is fine. Let me separate them actually. So that's our cups, our coins, our swords. No, it's wands, not swords. It's wands, sorry. Then we have swords. There's an extra court card. So we will start with our four. Would somebody have a look for me and just see what year the Rosenwald? I don't know if it says on here. Um, 1501. 1501. Wow, 1501. Our magician. Actually, I don't know if that is the fool. That could be the king of. No, it's not. It lonely. It is. A high priestess. Empress. Emperor. What nightclub? Oh, it's been years since I went clubbing. Now I'm all about my PJs and slippers by 7 p.m. <laughs> I've got a party on Friday I'm going to. My friend Daniel, you met him, emigrating back to Norway next week. He's got his farewell on Friday night. <sighs> performances and also I'm not performing no my Frankenfurt days are over I'll be uh, I'll be watching with a smile on my face but they're doing some performances oh look at the hermit
What do you think? I love this. It's actually nicer um, in my hand, looking at it in real, you know, up close and personal than what I've seen images online. They looked, they didn't seem this um, sharp. They seemed, when I've seen pictures online, they look really kind of faded, but they're not at all. Um, they're lovely. Look at the devil. Love, love the tower. Oh my God, the hermit, right? The star. The moon reminds me of Deviant Moon. Oh, and the sun card. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Jen, how can you look at this and like, Thing I don't want an uh, historic deck. <laughs> Slagfest, what time? 9 p.m. You're five hours behind, aren't you? So 4 p.m., Brian, your time over at Becker's channel for Slagfest. Oh, gorgeous. So let me just show you a few. I'll show you the aces. So that's the ace of cups. Ace of coins, it's beautiful. And the coins are really unusual, they're just like this look. Fifteen oh one guys, fifteen oh one. And then we have the um the ones, which I thought was swords at first. You can understand my confusion when you see that, but they are uh the old ones. Love the backs. And then we have our swords. With the curves. Love, this is powerful. Gary, I can't, I, I'm, I'm without words. I really am. It's, it's, so, so generous of you to put in the Budapest, which I was going to get this month. Um, but then to also put in the Rosenwald, which I knew about, and then the extra surprises. I mean, I showed those three, but, you know, this as well. I love, love this little leather case. And these cards are amazing. I love the Dodal. And talk about smelling decks. I mean, oh, the backs are beautiful. The size is gorgeous, but the colours. You were right. You told me about this deck, and you were saying I should get it because the colours are so rich and vibrant. It's just amazing. Absolutely beautiful. I do love that the Marseille Sun card, but have no creep down, has no creepy babies. Exactly, you see. Damn it. These, they're just amazing. I love, I love everything you've sent, Gary. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. <sighs> Does it smell good? Yeah, you've got the, the lovely papery smell, but sorry if it offends, vegetarians and vegans I don't mean to but that smells nice too um but yeah it's oh wow I'm just blown away and I'm have I'll have to have these out on display um I could get little bags for them but uh, might be nice having them out with some crystals on the back okay so that's my mega unboxing thank you to the amazing patty and i absolutely i was i love so much i love your cloth this is such a beautiful reading cloth i cannot wait to start using it it's going to go in my bag too and i love the the hermit uh the hermit plaque for those who's just joined so um 
What's Al going on about? I don't dribble in innocent chocolate lovers. Hi, Stormy Night. Oh no, I won't be taken in, Simon. You made me appreciate the RWS. Look away, Jen, and look away. But not even something like what I've just shown, or, I mean, Jen, come on. Something like this? With a buttery cardstock and, ah. Oh, Amazing colours. Look at the purples and the pinks. Oh, just divine. Divine. I mean, look. Look at our page of cups. Mm -hmm. Or the Knight of Cups. <laughs> so, Jen, that deck snorting habit. <laughs> oh, a good deck needs to be snorted. Um, <laughs> great. <sh> <laughs> um, Tangerine has got me frozen sniffing decks. Um, that's really cool. Buttery card stock is where it's at. It is. Damn it, Simon. I already have the marshmallow. I pull it out to admire sometimes. Start working with it. Seriously, don't fear Marseille. All you need is your basic 1 to 10 numerology. You know what the swords, uh, the swords, the suits represent. So you know that swords is about air, it's about thought, it's about intellect. You pull a four. It's about stability, four, four legs of a table, four legs of a chair, stable, stability of thoughts. You know, maybe you need to calm down your thoughts, maybe you're overthinking things. It gives you freedom. <laughs> so uh, I'd rather snort Russell Brand. Wouldn't we all rather snort Russell Brand? Don't get me going on the Russell Brand thing, please. <laughs> Save it till nine o'clock tonight. <laughs> Save it for Slagfest. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Um, I've got 10-ish minutes because I want to be wrapped up and ready and everything packed away so I can enjoy uh, Dustin's um, live at 5, live at 5, or his 10 a.m. because he's seven hours behind. Um, do, you want to see, do you want to see what's now in my tarot bag? Or not? You're probably not. Uh, no, you're all right. <laughs> all you need is a TDM. Okay, now throw that over your shoulder and whack out your RWS. Simon, can you do a video on a Marseille tutorial, please? I have. I have done. A couple of times, I think. I have, yeah. Simon, uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, I think you're behind by quite a bit. Is that on about the bag? Okay. A bit with. So, I keep eyeing Tom Benjamin's book. Yes, Tower on Earth. He uses the moss, marshmallow Marseille, doesn't he? So this is my tarot bag. It has the Triskelli in the middle. So over the shoulder bag. These are from all the places in the UK that I visited on my tour last year. So it's got Scotland. It's got Oxford. It's got Stonehenge. It has Robin Hood, <laughs> it has London, it has Glastonbury, it has Stratford-upon-Avon, Bath, uh, oh, and that one, that little pin there cost me £15, but it was beautiful, and that's from the, um, the well, the, uh, <sighs> the well, chalice well. And my Stay Sacred badge from Wild Unknown. Not in the bags, it won't fit, but this is what goes on the table. And this is the amazing Hermit's Lantern with the elements around the, and the moon look. The gorgeous moon. 
that Heidi at Wild Feather made and Diane uh, and her got it for my birthday last year, last October, which this will sit on the table beautifully. It is quilted. It is just stunning. So that's going on the table. Um, TDM is a trap. I resisted my first TDM, but no looking back. But it will never happen with a thoth. I, that is one thing I will guarantee you. It will never happen with the thoth for me. Just leaves me feeling cold. I'm sorry. Um, so, there are three compartments in the bag. So, the decks. You want to see the decks first or last? Great workbook and can be used for a lot more. Oh, Tom. Tom Benjamin's book. I have the tarot class, so that's good, but I will miss all the F and F. Never say never, Simon. I know you love it, Lucy, but I just I just look at it and I just can't feel anything other than it's like I hear wind blowing. And in my mind, the screen in my mind, I see tumbleweed going by. And I look at these images and I <sighs> shudder and I feel cold. <laughs> Cut to five years from now while Simon is teaching Thoth classes. <laughs> Simon woke up this morning with the Thoth in his bed and chewed off his arm. <laughs> it's never going to happen. You call what's first. Whip out that deck. Ooh, steady, Brian. Okay. So three decks. Firstly, in my deck is, in my section for the deck, is this beautiful, oh, the wonderful Kate from um, Escape from the Eight of Swords made this and asked Giselle to pass it to me when we met up in Glastonbury. It's got this gorgeous little moon uh, token on it and it is full of herbs and it's got clove in there and I love the smell of clove. And it's just, I think fennel is in there as well. And oh, I love it. So I put that in there and the whole bag then smells um, divine. So the Oracle deck hasn't changed. The Oracle deck of choice that goes with me for my readings is the Oracle of Echoes. I love this. Um, and if you've had, if you bought a reading from me through the website, you'll see that I, I use these a lot anyway. Um, they're just great to pull a word, um, to pull a word, to pull a card, look at the keyword, New Horizons, um, it's just amazing. Uh, it's about balance, intuition, and they're tarot sized, you know, it's an oracle deck that's tarot sized, protection. They're just incredible deck. So, where's Zach? He's missing this. He loves his thought. I think he's given up on me. I think uh, Zach has given up on me because he can't convert me as much as he's tried. Um obviously wrapped in my silk is my I'll have to put all this together. Do you know how much <laughs> how much I've got to sort out afterwards? It's my blushing for um RWS deck. There is no deck, seriously, there is no deck more superior than the 1972 no lamination, no copyright, beautiful, sharp, clean images. Talking of buttery cardstock, this is where it's at. Um, if I show you something like um, a card that's usually busy, and Sandra came and I, I got out the, you know, the one that you can buy today, the original RWS, well, the original right away by US Games, which is blotchy and yeah, and we compared the cards and she was like, oh my goodness, the difference. I mean, look at the colors of his um, tights. Really clear and vibrant. And I'm gonna try and find the page of uh, cups because, and like here, you know, you can see all the flowers. In the other one, it's really, 
really blotchy. Beautiful. So, the Centennial, the Centennial is beautiful. I love the Centennial, but you know when you hold this deck, and I'm fortunate because, you know, it's the Waddington's one, the three Fitzroy square, and it is the Blushing Fool, which is the, the quite rare to get. Um, you can get a later 1975 version, which removed Waddington's, but it still says uh, three Fitzroy square. It's the one in this... Um, it's out of reach, I think. Um, but anyway, no, it's there. Look, probably just out of reach. And the, you know, it's the blushing fall because the green of the reef is like an olive green rather than a dark green. It has the uh, yeah. So there at the bottom, look, it says Waddington's on the bottom line. That's how you know it's a a blushing fall deck as well as obviously the coloration in his in his face oh here we are i mean look at this look at the blue oh, is it too bright on here i have to do it look how beautiful the line work is and these cards to say they're 47 years old they're in mint condition absolutely stunning so I'll have to wrap that up again later. More to do when I come off air. And then, obviously, I've already shown it. I've got two copies. My Tarot de Marseille. Because in a spread, these look so gorgeous. They are LGBT-inspired. Rosario um, Salerno got the idea from the Berlin... Uh, gay club scene um, but they're not you know like Kelly Fitzgerald said it best they're they're not sort of in your face they're just it's the fashion it's the the look it's the feel and um, they're not sexually explicit cards um, but they are the only criticism I suppose would be that they are body beautiful all of them <laughs> all the men are you know, hot. Um, and he's just announced on uh, Facebook this week that he's creating now a RWS deck. And again, it's based around the Berlin club scene and it is going to be even more inclusive. It's going to have body shapes, ages and different things like that in it. So, yeah. I mean, there's always a there's always a magician with a pawn stash, isn't there? I mean, is it a prerequisite if you're going to create a tarot deck? You've got to have the pawn stash for the magician. I don't know, but again, buttery cardstock, amazing quality, beautiful, beautiful deck. So that's my Marseille. So a Marseille, a Rider Waite Smith, and a um, Oracle deck. In the second zip compartment, cat's looking forward to his RWS. Is my crystal? It has to be. I have to keep it in this quilted bag because it's got sharp points. But this is my all-time favourite um, crystal, healing crystal. Those of you who watched my channel for long enough will know why. It was the first time my mum recognised my practice outside of the church, and she bought me this, and it was. I'm not going to fill up. It was uh, one of those moments where I was like, she accepts me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so that goes with me everywhere. A little bit left from the chalice well. I do have two ornate bottles on my altar with some chalice well water in, but this is to spray. And I also have a spray of um, Florida water. So I have that too. Obviously, incense that helps. Incense, super hits, dupe cones, my marla beads. These are sandalwood, and I rub oils into them for communication. 
Herb Blend and um, Blue Lace Agate. Beautiful, beautiful large piece of Blue Lace Agate with herbs. It smells lovely, but also, you know, you want to be able to communicate when you're giving a reading. Um, so, yeah. Is Christy here? Hi, Christy. Talked about you and how you enabled me to get the deck of the bastard. An essential element, a lighter. You need a lighter if you're going to have incense. And also um, a tea light. So a tea light and holder, lighter and incense. That's all in the middle compartment. And it's amazing how much you get in this bag. It's not a huge bag. And then the last compartment at the front has my Opalite, because uh, I love Opalite. Most people that's received anything from me in the post will find themselves with a piece of Opalite. My Opalite Angel. From Peggy, the wonderful Peggy, as in Lisa's partner, my little uh, reading cloth to go on top of that. Again, with the four elements, just gorgeous. And look at even the reverse is gorgeous. You can have it either way, it's fully reversible. Um, so, yeah, that's there. And then I have in this little pouch. Again, another reason why you need the lighter is a very small, beautiful little shell. And I have my sage for smudging. So before setting up, cleansing the area around the table, around the reading area with um, some, some white sage. Oh. So yes, that's everything that's in the bag. So the three decks and all the little... Um, essentials and I'm good to go so if you've seen my website you'll see that I'm available for parties <laughs> that's how I started years ago 2003 doing parties and I used to just read with soul cards uh, back then but um, I'm putting the shell away without it being in its protected little clip face so um, so yeah that's what's in the bag Kate, you must tell me your secret ingredient. I don't want this ever to, to run out of, of scent. So, guys, before I go, any any last comments, questions, or anything? Um, I imagine Dustin's gone now to get ready. He's on in 20 minutes. I love Sundays. Aren't Sundays great for all the live chats and things that, that go on? I was trying to find an optimal time. We've not been able to come on yesterday. I mean, we did talk about Sandra and I about doing something joint, but if you've seen Sandra's channel and do check it out, Sandra and Taro, um, she doesn't she doesn't appear on camera. So I didn't want to put that pressure on her. So I just said to her, look, I'll do something on the, on the Sunday. Um, so it wasn't something for her to be worrying about, you know, whether that was going to happen or not. So... My so that's the bag and ready to go. Oh, there's some, there's some questions. Let's see what I'm missing. So um, Lucy says, Simon, in which sites are you reading tarot for people besides your own, of course? You you book through through mine for online reading. So I have got I have got some to do. Um, but it's www.thehermitscave.co.uk and you choose the spread you want. So there's a three card spread. They all have a cl clarifier oracle. There's a nine card spread or there's the 13 card spread, which is the year ahead, which starts the month following. So if people are booking the year ahead now because it's the beginning of March, it will be from March up until the end of February. Uh, partway through the month, it goes for the month ahead. Um, so you book through there and you choose a category, whether it's spiritual development, love and relationships, career advice, um, personal growth and development. Did I say that one? Um, 
And then you can ask a specific question or have a general reading around those areas. Um, but I also have a monthly gig at the Archer Public House in Rainworth in North Nottinghamshire. Um, and like I said, I also do parties. So you, you can book me to go to somebody's house. Uh, there's a minimum number of people required. Travel expenses is covered. Um, so yeah. Where did you buy your shirt? I bought it from a shop here in Nottingham called Void in Hockley, the Bohemian Quarter, um, when I was with Kelly Bear, when she came last August for Pagan Pride. She bought a dress and I bought this. It has faded a bit now, but I still, I still love it. Um, I missed you yesterday. Oh, I missed yesterday. I said to um, Sandra, we were coming out of the uh, mystical moon, driving back to the city centre, and I said, oh, it's 20 past four. I said, now I would be live chatting. So, um, yeah. So, Matt, if you're watching this back, you spent 400 on a tarot deck. I'm not letting you forget it. <laughs> Is Matt in? Yeah, that was on the... He bought, he spent £400 getting this, didn't he? Which is the, um, the deck that I always forget the name of, the Slow Holler. Um, this was a custom-made box that was gifted to me with the deck. So, yeah, and I love it. Again, that's another LGBTQ plus friendly uh, deck by four different creators. But what's wonderful with that deck is um, it doesn't jar. They're so, they've so worked together you wouldn't necessarily know, I don't think, that it's four separate creators. Hello, Unicorn Oracle. Um, Simon, do you want to see the special thing I got you on my next live? I sent you a message this morning, Tanji. You've probably not got it yet, but I replied to your message, and uh, yes. And again, like I said, you, you don't need to. It's so sweet. Um, that's 400. Yeah, better clean my floors. Um, okay. Hi, I will be patient. Don't forget to do a walkthrough when you do get it. Yeah, I don't know who that's to. The only deck now I'm waiting for is Deck of the Bastard. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> And it is, I'm just so excited about it because, yeah, it brings in my love of ancient Italian decks and Pixies artwork all wrapped up in one. And I love the Sopafino. So it's got Sopafino Aces, the Atea Majors, I believe, and uh, RWS 2 to 10. Oh, can you imagine? Um, what was your wrist tattoo? Was your wrist tattoo more sensitive? No, I had a wrist tattoo early in the year, which was just the semicolon about mental health awareness um, and, you know, continuing your story. A semicolon is where the sentence doesn't want to end. It needs to continue. And the idea behind this was a campaign, um, you know, rather than ending your life, your life you should continue. There's more to your story. Um, so that's what that was about. Um, that looks like it's off center, but it's not. That was taken from Animal Spirit, uh, Wild Unknown Animal Spirit. So spirit and all of the uh, elements. That was my Deviant Moon, one I had done last year, back end of last year in September, which I adore. And then the one yesterday, the Deviant Moon, which Patrick Melenza got from the Gravestone uh, headers which I love it wasn't since I I don't mind the pain at all I don't I wouldn't even call it a pain really it's more of an annoying sort of well no not annoying I, I just like I like the feel of it I'm weird Becca does too but as I said when he went through and it, it won't show here but there is some scar tissue here from my accident you can see it better there when he went through that it did make me wince a little bit um but it covers the scar tissue all. I can't do much about the rest of the arm, but let's have a full sleeve eventually. Who knows? 
Um, have I missed any other questions? I'm waiting for the true black. That seems to take a while, Selkie. You've been waiting a while for that, haven't you? Borderless Dirty Palm is out later this year. The Radiant White Spirit. Wait. As is things like the Little Prince Tarot, the Gold and Black RWS deck. Dustin's been putting, Dustin put something on Hermit's Cave earlier of um, his RWS decks, and I did mine today. I can't remember if I've uploaded it or not. I think I have, but if not, I'll upload it later. I'll buy Deck of the Bastards simply for the name. Yeah, the name's the only thing. I'm not being prudish or anything like that, or, you know, I don't mind swearing. I cuss all the time, but... Yeah, I still like the name of it as a deck. I get that it's a bastardised deck, but isn't every tarot in some way bastardised? Pixie was accused of it from the Solar Busca, you know. But yeah, I just wish it was called something else. <laughs> you have a deviant moon arm, I do. It's like being scratched by a piece of glass. Yeah, but that would hurt. <laughs> True Black is where it's at. Have, you, have we all checked out Brian's walkthrough of the True Black done to ASM, ASMR, ASRM, whatever it is, that, that speaking softly thing. ASMR, ASMR, I think it is. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. He did such a good job. You bloody prudy slag. <laughs> I'm so happy you ordered it, Simon. I'll have to play this back. Yes, you will. Yeah, you will. And I'd heard the name a couple of years ago and didn't pay much attention to it. I don't think I was into historical decks back then. I was all about RWS and it didn't really register with me. And then when I saw your images, I saw the sun card and I was like, Oh, I love that sun card. And I thought, why is there a sun card next to one of Pam's vintage tarot? I thought it was the little Pam's vintage tarot. And then when you started telling me about it, and and then I went on YouTube and I saw Quilfen three years ago do a walkthrough of the deck, and I was like, please tell me this is still available to buy. Because you know what it's like? I'll quickly describe print, and it was. And I was like, okay, so oh, I never finished the story, did I? So then I thought, right, now Gary's gifting me this. I'm going to buy it. Um, and the Deviant Moon Mildred Blood Edition will wait till next month because it will still be a pre-order next month. So there we go. That's, that's that. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up because it is almost 10 to 5 and... It's 10 minutes till Dustin's uh, live. So hopefully I'll see you all there. Thank you for joining me today. It's been lovely. And we had so many people here. So it was great to see everybody. Um, if you haven't had enough of me yet, then just remember I'm joining Becca tonight for Slagfest on her channel, 9 p.m. UK time. Uh, we always have such a good time I will, I will tell you and the other people who go into that chat it's hilarious it's lovely it's one of the highlights of my week so i was thrilled that she asked me to join her so hopefully see you all there becca tarot night owl 9 p.m thanks guys have a fantastic rest of the weekend wherever you are whatever you're doing go in peace namaste and blessed be bye do